You know what's weird? I don't have a single picture in my house. I got some artwork, a couple pieces of artwork on the walls, but I don't have any pictures of human beings. In areas where you may see a photo in a frame, I don't have anything there. Well, I have things, it's just, it's not pictures. So when an Amazon seller emailed me and they're like, hey, you wanna show a digital picture frame? I was like, yeah. I probably should. I should probably own a picture frame. This video is not sponsored. Well, kinda it is, cause I got the frame for free. So here it is. I gotta go to our photo, click, install. Sophie I'm gonna click on devices plus sign, name it. I'm gonna name it frame. And then for the email, they're actually recommending put in the frame ID as part of the email so you can remember it. Is that on the back? <coughs> Next. Ah, oh, here it is. <coughs> frame IDs and settings. Device info, it's already on it. And at the top is the frame ID. Submit, this should work now. All right, I gotta go into user management and accept. Somehow I set up two users on there. I don't know how I did it. I just wanna upload photos from my phone. So I'm gonna click on file, photo. Ooh, there's me in my PJs. You know, I better quit scrolling through this cause I might encounter some OnlyFans pictures. Even though there's no nudity on my OnlyFans, there might be on my phone. So I've selected nine pictures. I'm going to click send. Sending. Nine photos. Sweet, look at that. It just like started going on its own. I just sat here. I did nothing after uploading those pictures. I didn't click on anything. And off they went. I can even upload videos onto this thing, so I'm gonna make a quick video. Here it is, this is my video, it's super exciting, I know. Look, I put pictures onto a digital frame. Click on file, boom, video, there's my masterpiece. Yas, apply, send. There it is. Video, it says it right at the top. Oh, cause you can really see that. I put pictures onto a digital frame. Mission success, let's see if I can get this video up. Did. But it looks like it's either a picture or a video. You can't have it scroll through pictures and then video, unless I'm wrong. You could have your friends or family send you photos directly to the device. I'm not gonna do that part. I'm just happy that I figured out how to use this thing. Watch this. The pictures will automatically adjust. I can have it this way or the other way. Look at that beautiful ornament. Oh, no, go back. Mom's gorgeous ornament. She hand makes these crochet ornaments and they're so freaking cool. But yeah, when you tap on a photo, you can delete it, pause it, you can size it. Pretty spiffy. I can upload through the app, a computer. You can also upload stuff via USB drive or micro SD. Home, click. Oh, there's music. Would be really cool if I could connect this to Spotify. 
but I can't. Another downside is most picture frames don't have to connect to power. This one does. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. It's a digital picture frame touch screen. I can upload pictures and videos and that's just neat. I, I, I love that. My only issue is I gotta plug it in somewhere. But I guess in places where you'd normally put pictures, there's usually an outlet, I think, unless, okay, not everywhere. I guess not everywhere, because if you wanna set it onto like a, a cabinet or some shelving, there may not be an outlet there. Plus DGO, picture frame, digital picture frame. Link is in the video's description along with a coupon code. So that's it. Time for my cheesy outro. Toodaloo -toodle -lee loo that's my chair. It's not me farting. Sometimes it is, but right now it's the chair.